morning 5B and 5C proposed. Today, um, just now you have, should have seen the slides and the videos on the different symbols for electric circuit, symbols for the battery, symbols for uh, the, the switch, symbols for the bulb and symbols for the wire. So um, this video is to go through with you what you have learned just now and to really uh, construct with you, to demonstrate to you how to construct an uh, electric circuit using symbols okay, to draw it out. Um, what's important for this part is that you really, really need to use a ruler and a pencil. Okay, do not use a pen because you will definitely make mistakes. So use a pencil and use a ruler. A ruler must be used because all the wires must be straight. Okay, it cannot be drawn using freehand. Alright, so today, um, so for this video, you will learn and you will go through with me how to draw the electric circuit using symbols. Okay, so from the videos you have seen just now, I'm sure you have um, uh, realized that there are symbols for each uh, part of the electric circuit. Okay, for batteries, you have a symbol for them. For a switch, you have a symbol for it. There's two different switch symbols. One is for the open switch, one is for the closed switch. One for the bulb and one for the wire. Okay, some may look identical to the actual uh, thing itself. Some may look a bit different. Okay, so um, let's start off with the top of the list, a battery. Okay, some in some books, they call battery cells or electric cells. Okay, it's not the cell that we learn plant cell, animal cell, it's just a battery cell. Okay, so um, if you hear the word cell for electrical system, it also means battery. Okay, so I have only one battery here. I will draw the symbol here. So I'm just going to use line. So I have a long line followed by a short line. Okay, not too far away, side by side. Okay, the long one means positive, the positive end. I'm going to use uh, like a symbol over here. Okay, the long end means the positive end. And the short end means the negative end. Alright, so every battery is represented by this symbol, a long end and a short end. Long end represents the positive, short end means the negative. You cannot switch this around if you are given this battery. For example, if the plus is on the right, the minus is on the left, make sure the positive is on the right, the negative is on the left. Do not switch it around, it will be wrong, you'll be penalized. Okay, so if you really have to take note where is the plus and the minus, sometimes the plus and the minus is not given to you, look out for the button. Where the button is represents where the positive terminal is. Okay, so um, this is the symbol for battery, and usually, of course, we have wires to connect it to connect with it. So I will skip the wires for now. So this is only one battery. So what if we have three batteries together? We can put three of this um side by side. So what happens is that I draw my first one first, a long one, followed by a short one. This is the first battery. And then after that, I have a, I have another set. You, you need to use a ruler to draw. Do not draw using freehand. This is the second battery. And then this is the third battery. Right. So when you have three batteries together, okay. When you have three batteries together, all you need to do is draw them side by side. You don't need to have a wire to connect them. Anyway, you don't see a wire to connect them. So once again, if the positive is on the right, the negative is on the left. Make sure you start with a positive on the right and with a negative on the left. So this is one battery. I'm gonna highlight them for you to see. So this is one. This is one battery. And this is another battery. And then this is the third battery. So depending how many batteries you use, um, all you need to do is just to put them side by side if they are being placed side by side. All right. Okay. So now we go on to the switch. Okay. A switch wise is um different. Okay. But it also looks schematically the same, the same as the real thing. So I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna draw this out. All right. So this is an open switch. 
Okay, this is the open switch. So how does the open switch look like? Um, you start off with two circles. Okay, you don't have to shade the circles. It's just a circle. You don't have to shade it black. How to show that's open? Like this. Okay, so just two circles and a line and a diagonal line. Okay, this is what we call open switch. Why you can see, how do you know it's open switch? Actually, it's quite simple. You see that there's a gap over here. Okay, this gap is shows that it's an open circuit. Okay, because there's a gap for open circuit. Okay, so on the other hand, you also have a closed switch. So simply, uh, like a car park gantry, all you need to do is just to close the, the diagonal line. So what we need to do is very simple. Um, start off with two circles first. How do I draw a closed switch? Just go straight. Alright, so this is open because there's a gap. This is closed because there's no gap. So the switch starts off with two circles. Don't need to shape them. After that, open will be diagonal line without touching the other circle. Close will be a horizontal line connecting the two circles. Okay. Bulb um, is the most um, different from everything you see so far because you can see the battery is kind of similar. Uh, switch is very similar. Bulb will be different. So how does bulb look like? A bulb looks like a circle. And then a big X from end to end. Alright, so this is a symbol for bulb. Okay, it's not a uh, bulb and then a small little X in between, like a button. No, you, the X must be from end to end. Okay, from the circle, uh, from the outline of the circle to the outline of the circle, from the other side to the other side as well. So this is the symbol for bulb. Um, no difference if it's a lighter bulb or not lighter bulb. It's the same symbol for bulbs. Okay, and of course, wires is the most simple. Um, the emphasis here is wires, you must always use a straight line. So I'm going to use a straight line. Okay, so this is a simple wire. So wire is the most straightforward, just a straight line. Okay, so um, what you need to know for P5 is to know how to draw battery or series of battery. Um, switches, be it open, be it open switch or closed switch, uh, light bulbs and wires. So putting this into practice, let's try to draw a simple circuit like this. Okay, let's zoom in so you can see. Okay, so it's a very um, big diagram for you to see. Okay, so how would you draw a circuit diagram? Is first, um, you don't draw the wires first. You draw the parts first. You draw the bulb. You draw the switch. You draw the um, battery where it's supposed to be. For example, if the bulb is here, don't draw it at this corner. The battery is here, don't draw it at this corner. Follow exactly where you place them. So I'm gonna, I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to put the switch and I know it's open switch so I am going to draw open switch over here so two circles and open switch okay so this is my open switch after that I'm going to draw my battery which is below the switch this is the positive end hang on I'm going to draw my battery again. This is my positive end, and then this is my negative end. All right, okay. So I have my switch, open switch. I have my battery. Now I draw my bulb. My bulb is here. So let me draw my bulb again. How to draw a bulb? A bulb is a circle and a cross in the center. So I have a circle and a cross in the center, end to end, okay? So first step, you always draw the parts in first where they are, okay? For example, battery here, you draw battery here, you don't draw battery on the other side. You don't rearrange the parts for them. Draw exactly, be like a photocopying machine, okay? So once I get all my parts down, now I'll connect them using wires, and remember, wires must be straight. So let's start off with the uh, switch. There's this line over here, so I'm gonna draw this line highlighting as as I go through which line I'm drawing drawing this line first so I draw a line over here then I draw <coughs> then I draw on this line and then connect to the negative end of the battery so I'm going to draw here okay make sure that they join because if they don't join you'll be an open circuit 
until here and then after that you can join to the negative end of the battery so uh, let's draw a line from here to here okay, make sure they join okay Okay, okay. okay, so what I've done, I've joined the circuit, one part of the switch to the negative end of the battery. Now we will do um, this part to this part of the bulb. So use a straight line, use a ruler, use a straight line. Draw all the way to here, to the bulb. And then we go up to meet the bulb, to connect to the bulb. And then after that, now we draw the last part, which is from the bulb back to the back to the switch. So I'm gonna draw a line up. Make sure they connect to the bulb. Make sure there's no gap in between. And then you draw a line to connect to the switch. Something like that. Okay, so this is how you draw an electric circuit diagram. First step, you draw where the parts are, exactly where they are. After that, you connect them using wires. Okay, um, you should connect the same way as the circuit that is given to you. However, you will say that, teacher, how about this? Um, it seems that it's connecting at right angle, but you didn't connect right angle. Okay, for a bulb, usually you will connect from end to end. That means it'll be straight, either vertically or horizontally. You don't go in a right angle. Okay, try not to go in a right angle. Okay, um, this is just practice practices. So there's no like scientific reason why. Okay, so usually for a bulb, we'll join either vertically down or horizontally across. We do not uh join at a right angle. And one thing you notice that if you realize for my bulb, the line I draw do not cut inside the bulb. Okay, the line, the wires basically is for the outside only. Uh, wires don't go through the uh, bulb, the wires also don't go through the battery. Why? Because there's no battery within the, now uh, there's no wires between the battery, there's no wires between the, in a sense, going through the bulb per se. Okay, so make sure that you don't um, just be lazy and just draw one line straight down, one line straight across, doesn't work. Okay, the symbol must look like the symbol. Alright, so this is just a recap of what you have learned just now through the slides and through the video. So today you will be each going to practice drawing symbols for SIN as well as for foundation science you'll be doing one question of your worksheet. Alright, so with that I'll see you tomorrow.